All right, and it's time for the next Gibbage 3D Tutorials. Uh, this time we're going to be uh, working on aircraft wings. And uh, right here you can see in my workspace I have a P-47 already laid out for us. Now in a lot of the three views, uh, you can find a wing profiles such as this one right here. I've already taken the liberty of going into Photoshop and uh, cutting that out and putting it on a separate plane so we can just move that forward here and get a good view of the profile since right now that's what we're going to be concentrating on. Let's go into our side view here. And amazingly enough, the wing profiles or creating the wings is very similar to creating the propellers, which I've covered over last time. Uh, the only difference is, is how you start. With the propellers, you can start with a, a basic cylinder as a, a beginning point. So instead of starting from a standard primitive, what I do is I start from a spline. And there's also two different types of spline that we can use. Right now we're doing low polygon modeling so we can do individual uh, splines here instead of a Belzier spline. I'll probably cover the Belzier spline a little bit later. So first thing we want to do is uh, start from the back. I usually go from the back, wrap around, and come over. So the first click will start the spline. You can see right here it starts. And what we want to do is click again to continue the spline. You can see it creates a nice kink right there. And then click a couple more times and keep it even until the beginning. And we want to do a, a little bit more detail at the uh, leading edge here. A couple more and try to uh, follow the same amount of vertex on the top as the bottom. That'll help things a little bit later on, especially when we want to add uh, flaps and ailerons, it'll help us cut things out. So let's go ahead and click end and that will go ahead and complete the spline. So yes, we want to close it and there we have as a spline. Let's go in here and you can see we have these control points inside here. Let's just make sure that lines up well. There we go. Alright, now let's back off into our user view and we can see we have a spline that has our wing profile in it. Now a spline is a pure 2D shape, so in order to make it a 3D shape we have to add a modifier to it. That modifier is extrude. You can see here it makes it a solid shape. And then we just do a couple of clicks to do the extrude amount. You can see right here that the amount is raising the depth of the extrude. If I go into wireframe, you can see the individual clicks when I created the spline. Now let's go ahead and go to the top view right here and make this just about to the wing tips. Just like in the props, we do the uh, wing tips a little bit later on and it's pretty much exactly the same as we did the props. And then, of course, you hit Alt-X to make that transparent so you can see the wing underneath it. Now, we also need to add some sections in here so we can work with it. Since it's a uh, tapered wing all the way from the front to the top, we're going to be adding a lot of sections here. If it didn't have this nice gentle curve in the back end, I wouldn't bother. I'd say the polygons for the wing tip. But here, we're going to need it to make that nice curve. So let's add a good amount. And that, that should do it. We can always optimize this later on. And then now that we have that, drop a edit polygon in here and go into the vertex mode. Now just as we did the wings, what we want to do is select a group of vertex and go into the uh, uniform scale. And since we uh, want to do the non-uniform, we just do the uh, click and drag on the single axis point right here. See. And just go ahead and shrink it to make it fit the wing profile on the top. You can see it's fitting pretty nicely. Again, you don't have to be perfect on this, just get it close enough. And then since this isn't aligning right here on the profile, what we do is go into the move and move it to the side. That way we can get it to match the profile better. I 
again, move it to the side. Now you can see we have a pretty big difference here. So what we can do is go into here, select all these polygons. It's always nice to make sure you have both the top and bottom polygons in. And go into the drop down menu and put in a slice modifier. Now there is a slice modifier inside the edit polygon modifier right here, but it's nice to do the uh, modifier since it will automatically drop into the center of your selection. Now since I have these polygons selected, it'll only slice on those polygons selected. You can see right here if I uh, drag this slice over here, it won't slice anything up there. So let's go ahead and put another edit poly in there. And now you can see I have a nice additional slice in there in case you need some more detail in a section. Go ahead and shrink and grow that, align it, and you can see I filled up that nice area. Now, wingtips, like I said, just like the prop blade tips. So go in here, extrude. and collapse the last one. Go into vertex mode. Shortcut key for vertex mode is one, and then you have edge mode two, three, four, and five. So you can uh, do a quick shortcut to polygon mode, vertex mode. Just another sh quick tool tip. Go into here, non-uniform scale. And again, just fit it to the basic profile. Alright, we've got a basic profile now, and the wing is starting to look very good, but again, we have the thickness problem since we did the uh, non-uniform scale. But another quick, easy solution to that is our friend the FFD modifier. Let's go ahead and drop the FFD 2x2x2 two by two by two on there. Go into, just like the edit poly, uh, the shortcut key of 1, 2, and 3 work on here too, so 1 will be the control points. So select these control points, move them up, select the bottom control points, and move them up. Move these down, and you can see we have pretty well. Now you can see also that the wing is very faceted as it looks like it has a, a lot of different faces to it. That is a smoothing group issue, and I'll cover smoothing groups at a little later date here. Probably the next tutorial will cover smoothing groups. Now, one last thing is the wing tip isn't quite right. You can see it's a little bit bulgy compared to what we have in the profile. So we do a edit poly here and there you go. And there we have it, a simple aircraft wing.